You can now mine Neoxa on two miners. I'm going to walk you through the setup, so let's take a look. And here we are at the Two Miners official site for Neox. The URL is neox.twominers.com. I'll make sure I link that in the description below. This is a new pool. It came out about a week ago. And what we're going to be doing is following the official steps from Two Miners uh, that they have in their how-to guide. Neoxa uses the KPOW algorithm, which is the same as Ravencoin. So if you scroll down a bit here, you can see that there's two servers available, one for GPU and one for NiceHash. We'll be using the GPU server. The steps I'm going to be using in this tutorial are the ones that are documented on the Two Miners website. Step number one is to create a wallet. Now you can use a wallet from one of these exchanges or you can download the official Neox core wallet which I have a guide on how to do that right here and I'll walk you through those steps. Once you have your wallet set up and you have your wallet address you're going to want to go into downloading the mining software. The recommended ones by two miners for NVIDIA is going to be Gminer or T-Rex and if you have an AMD GPU you can use MB Miner or Team Red Miner. I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'm going to be using Gminer. So I'm going to go over to the official website for that. So I'm over at the GitHub page for Gminer. The latest release came out on July 28th, and it's 3.05. What we're going to do here is I'm running on a Windows machine, so I'm going to be downloading the Windows 64-bit version right over here, and it's going to download the zip file. And here it is. It's a zip file, and what we want to do is extract it. Now, when you extract the files, Windows or your security software might see this as a threat. And what you're going to want to do is put that in an exclusion folder. If you don't know what that is and you want to know how to do it, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps. So on my desktop, I actually have a folder already excluded from my security software called Miner. And I'm just going to be extracting those files in there. So I'm going to extract all of them. Okay, and there we go. So here is the folder. Let me just minimize this one. And you can see all the files that have come with the Miner. The most important one is the miner.exe file. Um, and then we have all these batch files. The one that we're going to be using is the Ravencoin one. We're just going to make a copy of that because this is the closest one to it. So I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to say, I'm going to select copy. And then I'm going to paste it in here. And there is the copy. And now I'm just going to edit the name real quickly just by highlighting it. And I'll just call this, call it Neoxa. And there we go. So now we have a batch file just for Neoxa. Now to edit this file, we want to right click on it and go to edit. And it's going to open up a text file. So we have the executable file first right over here, which is miner.exe. Then we have the algorithm, which is the KPAL algorithm. And here's what we're going to be editing. We're going to be editing the server and we're also going to be editing the username. So the server is going to be the server from the two miners pool. And I'm just going to jump over to the two miners pool over here and we have the GPU one right over here. So I'm going to highlight that, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to go back into my text file, and I'm going to paste it in. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is adjusting the username. So this username is a default wallet that's in here. We're going to delete that, and then we're going to be putting in our own wallet. So here's my wallet. This is the core wallet I installed on my PC. And if you want to install this core wallet on your PC, I'll link those instructions in the description below. So now we're going to go over to the receive section. And the next thing that we're going to want to do is request the payment. So we're just going to type in a label and the amount you can leave blank and the message, everything else you can leave blank. So then we're going to select request payment and it's going to give us an address. And all you have to do is copy your address and then you can go ahead and close it. Okay, so now I'm going to paste in the address. If you have multiple machines that you're using with this miner, you can just put in a period and then you can put in a unique number. I'm just going to put in CJ for crypto jar and then 001. This is a worker name and when you're on the dashboard, if you have multiple miners, you can easily identify which one is which by just giving it a unique number. So you're going to go up here to the file menu at the top and then we're going to save it. Then you go ahead and I'm going to close out of this window. And now we're back into the miner folder. We have our Neoxa batch file right over here. All we have to do now is double click on it to execute it. And there we go. We have it up and running. It'll just take a few minutes here, here for it to start up. It's not going to show up right away on the two miners website as a worker. It does take about five to 10 minutes for that to happen. I'll jump over to the next step and I'll show you how to look it up on their dashboard. So the miner has been running for about 10 minutes right now, and I'm on the two miners website. All I need to do at this point to check out the status is put in my wallet address. So I can put it up here at the top, click on the search button. And if I scroll down a bit here, you get all the statistics for your miner, including the rewards, the hash rate and the percentage. And if you scroll down a little bit further, you can actually see the hash rate of your miner. So you can see I was running it earlier today. I stopped to make the video and then now it's back up and running. So if you look over here on the left hand side, I only have one miner running right now, CJ001, which is the miner that I had just labeled it. If I had multiple GPUs running, they would all be listed here and then separated for its hash rate. You can see more information over here. If you click on the shares option, 
uh, lets you know the total valid shares that is available. And then if you go over to rewards, you can see the payouts for the rewards and how often they're happening right over here. And then if you go to payouts, so you can see a full list of all the payouts that have taken place. And then account settings. Account settings is where you put in your IP address and then you can set the minimum amount. Right now I have mine as 50. I believe the default one is 10 to a maximum of 10,000. So you can set the payouts however often you want it to be paid out. And the good thing about two miners, if you go over here to the top, you can see that they cover the fees. There's no additional fees being charged. So that's how you do it. That's how you mine Neoxa using the two miners pool. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you're looking for more guides and tutorials like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.